Namaskara. This is a video on uh, pronouns and vibhakti. This is actually a very important topic. Uh, beginners always have difficulty understanding pronouns. They have difficulty understanding vibhakti. Um, so learning pronouns and vibhakti together is actually a powerful concept. Okay, this is one of the foundation of Kannada grammar, uh, which is pronouns and the corresponding vibhaktis of pronoun. The other fundamental concept um, is the uh, pronouns and tenses. I'll make a separate video for that. So pronouns are basically, there are nine of them, which is nanu means I, navu, V, ninu, you, nivu, you, plural, avanu is he, avalo, she, adu is that, avu is those plural of adu, avu, those. So these are the nine pronouns and these are the main pronouns. Um, now these nine pronouns, if you learn the seven vibhaktis, right, with the pronouns, it will be very easy to understand. I'll explain what are, what are vibhakti. Vibhaktis are nothing but suffixes that you add to nouns. But here we are going to add specifically to pronouns. To get what? To represent English prepositions like to, for, by, from, in, at, of, so these prepositions are very commonly used in spoken language. So you need to understand vibhaktis, right? And along with pronouns, because we use pronouns all the time, right? So this learning pronouns and vibhaktis together is a very powerful concept and it's one of the foundations of Kannada grammar. And then uh, learning vibhaktis and tenses using pronouns gives a controlled environment to learn these concepts because if pronouns are very fixed, you have only nine of them instead of nouns. Nouns means everything, name, place, things. So using nouns and learning uh, vibhaktis, it's a bit difficult. Pronouns is just nine. So using nine, you can easily learn the concept of vibhakti and apply to other nouns. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so pronoun and vibhakti. Nanu is the first vibhakti. I am a boy. Nanu huduga. Then nanannu. So annu is a suffix for the second vibhakti. It means me. Nanannu means me. How will you make a sentence? Mother is calling me. Here I am the object. Mother is the subject. Mother is calling me. Amma nanannu call maduttare. Right, nannannu. In spoken Kannada, nannannu is actually spoken as nannanna. The u is changed to a. But that's fine. Learn it as nannannu. But when you are speaking, you can always change it to nannanna. Okay. Then, tritiya vibhakti is nannanda by me. Third vibhakti. Cooking was done by me. Okay. Nannanda aduge madal pattitu. This is changing from uh, what is called as active voice to passive voice. I did cooking. Nanu cooking madide. Change it to cooking was done by me. That's where this Tritiya Vibhakti helps. Okay, Naninda by me. Then Nanage, the Chaturthi Vibhakti, the fourth Vibhakti. To me, right? Send money to me. Nanage duddu kalisi. Kalisu is to send. So Nanage duddu kalisi. Nanage to me. Right? Nanage is used also for things like things that you like. For example, Nanage sihi bakshagalu andare tumba ishta. Sihi bakshagalu means sweets. Nanage sihi bakshagalu andare tumba ishta. I like sweets. Okay. So there also the Nanage is used to me. So Naninda, next one. Nanage Naninda, which is Panchame Vibhakti from me. So Panchame Vibhakti and the Tritya Vibhakti, they have the same suffix. Naninda. The in the and you can easily figure out the difference by looking at the sentence. For example, what help do you want from me? Naninda yenu sahaya beku. From me, naninda sahaya beku. Okay, then nanna is my. This is my house. Idu nanna mane. That's nanna. Shashti vibhakti. The nannalli in me. I have courage in me. Nannalli dhairya ide. Right? Nannalli. That's your in me. So these are your seven vibhaktis for the nine pronouns. Okay. This is your vibhakti table in Kannada. Of course, with English transliteration, because this is for beginners who would not have learned the Kannada script. Uh, as you know, I have a separate big video for pronouns in my, uh, uh, if you go to my videos, you will see it. So this one is actually a, a small intro for people who are just beginning and who don't know the Kannada script. So this pronoun vibhakti table, basically what you have, you have the nine 
pronouns here and you have the seven vibhaktis for it for example nanu nanu nannannu nanninda nanage nanninda nanna nannalli right the navu means we navu nammannu namminda namage namminda namma this is your namma metro right namma nammalli the ninu ninnannu ninninda ninage ninninda ninna ninnalli ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ನಿಮ್ಮಿಂದ ನಿಮಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮಿಂದ ನಿಮ್ಮ ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹೆಸರು ಏನು ರೈಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಅವನು ಅವನನ್ನು ಅವನಿಂದ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಅವನಿಂದ ಅವನ ಅವನಲ್ಲಿ ಅವಳು ಅವಳನ್ನು ಅವಳಿಂದ ಅವಳಿಗೆ ಅವಳಿಂದ ಅವಳ ಅವಳಲ್ಲಿ then avaru avarannu avarinda avarige avarinda avara avaralli adu adannu adarinda adakke adarinda adara adaralli avu avugalannu avugalinda avugalige avul avugalinda avugala avugalalli okay so these are your nine pronouns and these are your corresponding vibhaktis so this is your table the next slide you will see the same table in english the exact meaning okay so i me by me to me from me my in me then we us by us to us from us our in us you again uh, is as an object also dvitiya vibhakti of you is you 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 by you to you from you you are in you then you as in plural this is your ni nivu right you you by you to you from you you are in you then he avanu him him by him to him from him his in him she her by her to her from her her in uh, in her okay then uh, they them by them to them from them there in them that that by that to that from that of that in that those those by those to those from those of those in those so you got the corresponding english meaning of the pronoun vibhakti table that we saw in the previous slide so how do you practice this pronoun vibhakti you can practice on your own just taking a few verbs and then you can do it right for example i saw you nanu ninnannu nodide i saw her nanu avalannu nodide i saw him nanu avanannu nodide i saw them nanu avarannu nodide i saw that nanu adannu nodide i saw those nanu avanannu nanu avuvannu sorry nanu avugalannu nodide right i saw those right so because it's all nanu that's why you say nodide so this is not a big deal the verbs we are not learning here we are trying to learn the pronoun vibhaktis i gave her nanu avalige kotte you gave him neenu avanige kotte she gave me avalu nanage kottalu he gave us avanu namage kotta that saw as adu nammannu noditu one more slide of example i took from you nanu nimminda togonde inda from you nimmin ninninda sorry i took from her nanu avalinda togonde she took from that avalu adarinda togondalu he took from those avanu avanu avugalinda togonda right avugalinda togonda we took from him navu ava nanu navu avarinda togonvi then they took from you avaru ninninda togondaru those took from me avu nanninda togondavu right you took from us neenu namminda togonde i took from him nanu avaninda togonde that took from her adu avalinda togonditu we took from those navu avugalinda togondvi so this is exactly how you just practice by just making simple english sentences and corresponding pronoun vibhaktis that you can practice okay 
I hope this video was uh, useful for beginners. Please learn pronouns and vibhaktis together. You will get a very good grip on vibhaktis. Okay. Okay, so that was the last slide. Danya Badaglu. Please do learn pronouns and vibhaktis together to get a good grasp on the concept of vibhaktis.